Okay, now you can see uh, with the direct signal on what's going on with the Panasonic CT101. You can see exactly what the uh, condition is. That screen still looks washed out. That picture looks perfect uh, live. Just in this camera, for whatever reasons, washing it out. And I'm not sure why. Well, there we go. That's a little better if I zoom in. But then I lose focus, so don't know that I'm going to be able to get you a good... There we go, that's not too bad. But you can see what the fault is. There's a bar right there. It looks like a vertical sink problem to me. So that's where I'm going to go next. Thanks. Okay, guys, I think we got this thing lined out. Um... You guys are probably wondering, well, Scott, how did you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you, but I just wanted to show you. Just fooling around a little bit with the set off camera. Did a little deeper dive into the schematic. Uh, if you recall the last scene I shot, we had a vertical bar in the middle of the screen. And, uh, of course, that's that's gone now, and I'll show you how, how we accomplished that. Um, I really wish... You guys could get a. I'm looking at this through the camera, and the picture doesn't appear to be bright. It doesn't appear to be very colorful. Uh, but trust me, in person, this is a really pretty colored picture. Um, the colors appear faded on the camera here, but they're really bright and crisp when I'm looking at this in person. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, we've got the TV repaired now. Let me tell you how we did it. Okay, guys, so how did we get to where we finally got the set plane right? Um, when I last showed you the schematic, we were here on the U board and we were looking at this, this IC. And I went ahead and checked all the voltages on this IC, which basically pertains to sound. Um, where we where we were able to trace it to and our, our sound was fine and all the voltages on this IC were fine so that begged the next question okay well where does this lead to the out of this this pin it came in here and it goes through the sound amp and then it leads back out and if you follow it back around and up and over it comes to pin four all right so going back to the main schematic where that connection is you follow pin four it comes down it comes around it connects back into the sound amp which sends a signal on over it connects to basically the speaker and the earphone jack all right but if you keep going down the line and you follow it down and around and back to the original connection and then we go this way down and around and up and through this connection into this board all right which is called the V board which oddly enough stands for the vertical board. Here's where we pick up the signal again. Comes up and around and basically enters into this IC uh, which is IC 401 and the circuitry associated with IC 401 is the vertical oscillator, vertical sync amp, um, sync separator and it's also got the horizontal AFC and some other functions but it's another one of these 24 pin ICs and where that's located physically on the TV is right here All right, this is this is the uh, IC 401 so what I did was is I went through like I did on 
the other board or the other IC and you can see here we have voltages to check and you can see that I have pin 5 and pin 9 highlighted because I was not seeing the voltages on these pins that I should have seen it was all over the place so physically on this board it goes this way one two three four five touch him up six seven eight nine touch him up and the other thing about this this board had all kinds of flux on it all kinds of solder flux and so you know with a good bath of of lacquer thinner and a brush you can see that that's all cleaned up as well as tried to clean that that one up as well uh, you can still see some remnants of flux on this one. I probably need to touch that back up before I put it back in the cabinet. Anyway, so what does pin 5 and pin 9 do? And how could that have anything to do with what was going on? Well, if you look at pin 5, it had to do with the horizontal AFC and the sink separator. But I think the smoking gun here was pin 9. It's the vertical sink amp and vertical oscillator. But all I know is, is when we touched up this pin, that's when my vertical problem went away. So that's it, guys. Um, <laughs> it's one of those situations where I'd rather be lucky is good. Um, it's, it's not an, the most exciting repair. Um, no components had to be replaced. I think it was just a simple matter of, of solder joints, uh, dry solder joints, which is not uncommon from something from the night built in the 1980s. So um, the other thing that you know probably needs to be done in this little set um, is a good look at all these electrolytic caps. I have this machine this tool it's a cap checker it's designed to check the caps in circuit electrolytic caps in the circuit low voltage caps like you find um, in this set from anywhere from three to two to two hundred volts down but most of the caps in this set are under a hundred volts um, and there's there's quite a few caps in this set that are very suspect so to properly restore this you know a recapping is probably in order um, but I'm not going to take the time to do that right now I just I've got too many other things to do eventually down the line I'll probably um, make that a project and and do that and recap it but for right now we're going to put her back in the cabinet and uh, Make sure she's still stable and still plays and and um, call it a day. But I think one thing's very clear. Uh, I never would have been able to get serious that if you want to repair anything that's electronic in nature, uh, you've got to have the schematic. And if you can follow lines, even somebody like me can figure out how to uh, repair this little TV. But let's put it back in the cabinet and see what it looks like, and I'll be right back. I'm feeling the law in this town is sure easily influenced. Yeah, all you need is a Navy Colt. Oh, uh, you fellas comfortable and happy? I mean, uh, can it get you anything? A bottle of whiskey or a couple of steaks or something? When are you going to let us out of here? Uh, tomorrow morning, one way or another. Well, it's not coming through very well on the camera, fellas, but you can see the TV is working. I wish you could see it in person. It's a brilliant picture. Colors are really, really good. And uh, so uh, I've got the lights out. I thought maybe that might help. But uh, anyway, I'll turn the light on here in a second. But it really looks like Haas and Joe's in trouble. They're in jail, as a matter of fact. Okay, last look, fellas. Here it is, together. 
and uh, that's not too bad it doesn't look too bad in the camera trust me that picture is better than that but I'm just tickled to death to have the uh, Panasonic CT 101 playing again watching a little bonanza here on Sunday afternoon and uh, I hope you enjoyed riding along with me to repair this little guy so uh, like I said in the original beginning, I only get these out two or three times a year. And um, I'll let this guy play here for maybe a couple of episodes, a couple of hours, and uh, make sure she's stable. But as far as I can tell, she's good to go. All right. Thanks for being along for the ride, guys, and I'll see you down the line. Forgive our enemies. We are told to bring solace to the afflicted, even though they are.